Well, my friends, thanks for stopping by. I hope you're all having a great day. Today I am recreating a look I wore in my last video. So many of you wanted to know how I did the makeup look and the faux bob, which I will bring to you in another video. Uh, I didn't want this to go too long. And um, you may hear the wind roaring because it's incredibly windy today. And because of that wind, you may hear Harley barking because Bar uh, Harley gets very nervous with the wind. She can handle a thunderstorm, but don't give her a good gust of wind because she'll go running and take you with her. Uh, anyway, so if you uh, really want to see how I achieve this look, stick around. Okay, so first step, MAC paint pot. I've already started, but I'm just going to finish it up here. Use any primer you like. I do like to use one that blocks out my own skin tone because I have a lot of bluing. So if I block it out, then the colors stay a little more true for me. Okay, MAC paint pot. So okay, just... so now we're just going to set that. You can use translucent powder, whatever you want. I'm going to use my Bye Bye Pores by It Cosmetics because it's broken and I'm just trying to use it up. And I just use a soft brush for this. And just going to go ahead and set that. Like so. Okay, okay so... so now that we have that set, we are going to move on to our palettes and unfortunately I'm using two of them and uh, it is the warm mattes by Vizart and the dark matte by Vizart and I also will be using a shimmer shade but that will be by MAC and I will let you know what that is when we get there. So we're going to use an E Sigma brush. I'm going to dab into the first color I'm going to use and I'm going to try to stay straight but I may have to use a little mirror because um, when I put this on, I'm very close to my lit up mirror and my mirror is very far away from me um, and I can only see so far, okay? So we are going to take this and place it. This acts as our transition shade. Pick a shade that works with your skin tone, of course. And this application, you can use any colors that are more suitable for you. Like if you have a green, if you're cooler tone, your green is gonna be different than mine. I have a lot of yellow, so I have to find shades that really do have a lot of olive tone to them, but I also need to have my transitions shades in the peach family or a brown, browner peach that works for me. So anyway, uh, we are just gonna go ahead and build that up and your transition shade can go all the way on your lid if you want, but I don't really take it on the lid. I work from the crease up, and because my eyes are slightly hooded, I am going to lift up on the outer edge with that shade because it just helps to give the illusion of a lifted brow. Now I am coming out all the way with this color to the tape, so don't stop to go right out to the tape, okay? And my tape is angled right to almost where my eyebrow would end. A little further out, I'm exaggerating just slightly. <laughs> okay, so. okay, so now I wanna work with a brush that's a little bit tighter, and this is by Morphe. And I'm gonna go in and pick up the color just below the first color that we worked with, and I'm going to, I'm gonna load up the tip of that brush. I don't wanna really load up the whole brush, just the tip, Tap it off slightly, lean your head back just a little bit, and then just really focus on the crease for this, and work in little baby strokes until you get the feel of it. Pick up as you go along, and again, because you have the tape on, any fallout's gonna f catch on the tape, which is really nice, because you don't have to worry about uh, cleanup afterwards, but I still will wipe up slightly. Once, Once you where you want it, then you'll go back with a nice sweeping motion, I'm going to pick up a little bit more. I want to build this color up a little bit because I do need to add colors that are more complementing to my skin tone if I want to wear greens and burgundies. I, I still have to have a color that's suited for me. That's why I said it's important for you to know what color is best suited for your skin. And you never ever want to use a satin finish for this. You want this to always be a matte. So I'm just going to swirl it a little on the end. You don't want to lift up too far with this color now. And just going to go back in and pick up and just really build that area. You can lift it up slightly on the inner part 
And remember, if you have very narrow eyes, you're going to stop a little sooner than me because you don't want to draw your eyes in even further. So I'm just picking up a little bit more and we're going to just put a tad bit more and then I'm going to check my look in the mirror and we will move on. Okay, so now we're going to go back in with the first brush that we used and we're just going to soften the edges. We're not really blending those colors. We're just softening the edges to where the color starts and stops. Okay. Okay, so now we're going to move on to the star of the show, which is from the dark palette and this is an olive green right here. Now for this, I'm going to pick up my Tom Ford brush. I love these. Put them in your VIB cart. Um, ask for them for Christmas. If you have somebody who's a makeup person that just loves it and this is within your budget, go for it. It is a beautiful, beautiful brush. I love it. Okay, so we're going to dip into that olive tone green. Now this one, I want to load the color up and we're going to work in little small sections because we don't want this color all over the place. So now I'm just going to work on the outer edge here and I'm really tapping the color on first. And then I'll just sweep. Don't move. We don't want to go up with this color. We are just working in that outer V. And then we'll tap the color to go almost inner. Okay, we're going to pick up some more of that color. And I'm just going to tap that on. And see how I'm, I'm almost working like a wedge. Tapping it on. Work in the, you can, Push it into the crease area, but you don't want too much of this color uh, lifted above the crease area. Okay, so that's what your transition, it'll blend slightly, but your transition shade helps to um, make them all work together. Okay, let me just check my look. Okay, just a little bit more, and I want to just build that and tap it on. Okay, so our next step, and this is where a very narrow brush like this will come in handy. This is a Louise Young brush, and I got this from Lisa Lisa D1. She sells these on her blog. Okay, this brush is very, very, very narrow, which really works well for the next thing we're going to do. Now take that fluffy brush you worked with and just sweep lightly, 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 lightly. You're not touching the lid with this. You're just lightly sweeping so light. Hold that brush right at the tip and then you can't put any pressure. You are just lightly, lightly blending that green into your transition color. Okay? All right. So now we're going to take that very narrow brush and I'm going to go in with this burgundy look. This actually did have just a touch of burgundy to it. So I'm going to touch that brush into it and that's why you need a very narrow brush. But you need a brush that's going to pick up a little bit of color. Some of them are just too darn soft. All right, so now this is where I probably will need to look. So now you want to just put this brush right in where your crease would be, okay? And you're just going to apply this burgundy right in the outer part of the crease. You're not really adding this to the inner eye, unless, of course, you want to. So we are just adding that color right here. I'm going to try to exaggerate it. Okay, so the burgundy is just slightly above the green starting in the crease. I'm slouching because I'm trying to see. Okay, so you see I'm just putting that right here. I'm not moving this color in. Okay, so you have that. Now you're going to take that Tom Ford brush that you were working, not adding any more, or whatever brush you used. Don't add any more shadow. So now you're just going to lightly sweep that just so it blends ever so slightly into that green, but not crazy, okay? And that's what you should end up with. Okay, okay so, so now we are going to take the next color, and this is Sumptuous Olive by MAC, and I'm going to use my fingertips for this. I'm going to pick that color up, and it's a beautiful satin finish. 
olive tone and I will need my mirror for this but I'm going to just place my hand and then okay so now I want to take this and pack it on to all of the lid but not the outer part where we put that olive green pick up some more of it pack it on okay a little bit more We're packing that color on, but we are not going over that green, okay? Okay, so now that you've packed that on, we're gonna pick up our Tom Ford brush, and we're just going to just lightly, lightly blend that olive, sumptuous olive, a little bit over that green where they met, okay? And that is pretty much all we're going to do right here. So now, I'm just, I want to blend, so I'm just going to take that brush, and make sure that I have no hard edges on either eye where you placed that outer um, V of the burgundy. You're not really rubbing that out. You're just going to soften that line. Okay, I never had anything like what just happened. It said card full. So I had to put another card in my camera. I'm using my old camera because uh, my new camera for some reason, I can't get it to stabilize videos ever since I put up this background. So I may change my background yet again because for some reason, the new camera does not like this background. Anyway, uh, while it so kindly cut me off, I had applied my foundation. So um, my foundation was applied with a beauty blender and I am using the YSL All Hours Foundation and warm sand, I can hear the gasping now. Um, I am well aware of the ingredient list of this foundation. Um, as an adult, I made a very informed decision that this foundation is fine for me to use. After speaking with someone who has a chemistry background, uh, I explained what I put on my face every day. And because I layer on my skincare and I layer on sun uh, sunscreen and then I layer on a primer, which a primer is formulated with very large molecules so it cannot penetrate it lays on the surface of your skin as adults you all get to make a decision whether you want to use this i say research things um, if you know somebody that does have a chemistry background this video is just not supposed to be made today i'm telling you my friends okay we are back so i don't know what i was saying but we're going to just move forward now um, i want to use the burgundy suede on my my tight line before I move any further because I didn't want to forget that and it's already on the other eye uh, just I love the burgundies and the greens together and you can use brown you can use black you don't need to use the burgundy suede but um, I liked it so much I ordered another one all right so for concealer the foundations are on okay, so, so we're using the Maybelline rewind just gonna go ahead with the beauty blender put a little bit of that underneath my eyes, not too much. I'm trying to use thinner consistency in um, concealers. Okay, so powder, I'm going to continue using the RMS because I want to use it up. Just gonna tap some of it in the lid. I'm going to take, this brush is by Anastasia. It's very nice for picking up powder, tapping a little bit of it off and then just touching it up underneath the eye to set your concealer just a little bit. This RMS powder is so fine. And I just pat it. This brush is perfect for this, but you don't need this brush. You can use your beauty blender, whatever you want. All right, so now I'm gonna take what's in the lid here and I'm just gonna put a little bit of it on my La Mer powder brush and I'm just going to powder the cheek area. Okay, so we put our powder anywhere we are going to place bronzer or blush. You just wanna put a little bit of that powder and I'm going to go ahead in my T-zone area and set it with just a little. Trying to get away from a lot of powder also. Okay, so that is done. I've got to hurry before the phone rings again or somebody knocks on the do door or the dogs start barking. <laughs> Speaking of the dogs, oh my lord. Mm. Shade and light palette. I'm gonna go in with uh, the contour. I'm gonna use it with my Tom Ford. Tap into it just with the tip. And then I'm gonna tap a little bit of it on the area I want it. 
whoops, got a little crazy there, and then just brush it out. I'm gonna take a little bit of it right on my forehead, just to give me a little bit of definition. Okay, just a little bit. And from there, we're going to use a Laura Mercier blush. Uh, I think it's called Spiced Cider. Take now, my I faux NARS brush into the Laura Mercier powder. And I'm going to go ahead and tap that on my cheeks. Build it up to your liking. Okay, and I'm just going to tap lightly on my eyelids just to marry a little of that color in. And then I'm going to take the brush that had the bronzer on it and just run it slightly down the neck. Okay, so that's it. We need some eyebrows, don't we, my friends? We're gonna finish the eyes, don't you worry. All right, so for lips, I'm going to use the Hover by MAC. And now this one I'm going to fill it in because I am using a brighter coral lipstick that I want to tone down a little bit. Okay, so we have filled in with Hover. And I am going to be using a Kevin Aquan lip. And this is called Makevo. I don't know. I can't see it, my friends, so I will let you know in a little bit what it really is. Okay, it's a bright coral. But I tone it down when I put it, the hover, all over the lip. Okay, so let's move on to, I'm going to save the eyebrows and the mascara for last because I'm going to go off camera to do it. So now, I need to put a little bit of color underneath my eyes. You want to take a really, uh, either a small dome brush, something that you can work with easily underneath your eyes. I'm going to take the uh, Louise Young. I'm going to go in and just take the tip of that brush into that olive color I was using. And then I'm going to sweep it up along, join it with where my tape was. That helps to soften the tape line. And I'm going to go ahead and just sweep it under that eye. You could use the browner tone that you use. You could use a burgundy. I am actually going to tie a little of the burgundy in. So we're going to do the other eye. Okay, so now I want to take just a tiny bit of that burgundy that we worked with, just a little bit, and I'm going to put it right in the corner, just slightly, not a lot. You almost won't even notice it, but you will when you're looking at it really close. Then I'm going to finish the eye look off with my green pencil by Givenchy. And this one is number five. And I'm just going to sweep it on the bottom waterline. And I angle it on its side so it runs a little bit over my lashes so the color distributes a little bit underneath. It'll all pull together when we put the mascara on and the brows. It looks pretty scary like this without the eyebrows. Okay, I'm going to go off camera, put my eyebrows and mascara on, and I'll be right back. All right, my friends, I am back. And uh, my eyebrows were done with Anastasia's Brow Wiz in Caramel and Brow Gel in Caramel. And my mascara is Bobbi Brown's Smoky Eye, really focusing on the outer lashes to give it a more smoky seductive look I guess. Um, I, this can be achieved with any colors you want. I thought I would show you if you're going to wear a top knot like I have, pick out a really great pair of earrings that you might have. This is, this is an old pair from Lucky Brand but they have a beautiful green in it and um, I just love them. Or these are my favorite hoops and they are by Sheila Fajal and I get them on Lisa Lisa D1's blog. I have them in brushed or in gold. I have every color there is. But you could also just wear a hoop earring with this. And you are good to go. There's the hoop side. 
And there is the dangle side. Uh, you could wrap a beautiful scarf that has burgundies and olive greens with just this, I have a plain olive green t-shirt on, but you could really jazz it up this kind of look and turn it into a party look by putting on a beautiful oversized scarf or uh, even a silk scarf. You can do so many things to look fabulous, my friends. Fabulous at any age. All right, so I hope you enjoyed. I'm going to take this earring out and I'm going to put the other one in. All right, my friends, so that is it for me today. Uh, I hope you enjoyed this tutorial. Uh, the bobbed haircut I will do along the way. I'm thinking of doing some holiday looks, playing around with my hair, giving you different looks for eyes. I think the holidays is really a time when we can vamp up our look a bit, even at our age. We can do anything we want, be anything we want. Just do it and go for it, all right? All right, my friends, thanks for stopping by. Don't forget to subscribe. We are living life here. Go out in the world and be happy, healthy, beautiful, and most of all, my friends, lovable. I love you all. Bisous.